Welcome to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. As a part of my series, Finding Home, I'm exploring different cities to see where I may want to live. Known for its vibrant community, breathtaking landscapes, and thriving culture, Denver offers a unique blend of urban life and outdoor adventure. From its coffee shops and parks to its hiking trails and local events, Denver has a lot to offer for everyone. So you might be wondering why Colorado or maybe why Denver? And this might be in a very general sense or it could be very specifically as in like, why is this my first stop of this entire journey? And the answer is very simple. It's my best friend who she lives out here. It's her birthday and I wanna celebrate with her in person. And on top of that, I also did want to do some hikes and like I miss the mountains here. And you know, you might say, oh, well, don't you have hikes in the Northeast, like mountains? And like, yeah, we do, but it's not the same. It hits different out here. And like, if you ever hit like hiked out West, you know what I'm talking about. You know, in the Northeast, you got trees all the way up. You only get a good view at the very top. When you're out here, you get nice views the entire way, generally for most hikes. And you know, again, the whole point of this journey and this series is to see if I actually want to move out here. Maybe it's Denver, maybe it's some other city in Colorado, or maybe it's nowhere here. You know, is it better than New York for me? One thing people in Denver and I have in common is our love for coffee. And there are a ton of amazing coffee shops here in the city, but the one I really want to go to is called Prodigy Coffee. This is a nonprofit coffee house that has an apprenticeship program for young adults ages 18 to 24, and it has just a really cool vibe overall because it's built in an old garage. Gotta say, this remote work stuff is pretty nice. Prodigy Coffee, 10 out of 10. Coffee, all the size. And great news. I mean, I'm looking at the mountains right now, it's kind of wild. This, this is why Colorado. This is fucking insane. This is on the side of a road. You know, normal. Okay, enough sightseeing. Oh, it's starting to rain. I have to get to the Airbnb because I'm tired and I'm still jet lagged. So um, yeah, time to hit the road again. You know, Denver's been great and I've enjoyed really wandering around, but at the same time, I feel like people know I'm not from here. I think I do a good job of like, you know, blending in, but I think there's something I could do that will help the illusion. So, I'll be right back. So, what do you think? Is this any better? Can I, can I blend in now? Would someone believe that I'm from Denver? I mean, look, I got like full Patagonia. I got the hat, I got the vest. These are cool pants. They're not, not Patagonia, but and oh, okay. In my defense, I had this, had the pants, only got the hat, and I got new hiking shoes because I legit forgot mine back home because I'm an idiot. So I'm hiking up in the Flatirons right now, and it is just like breathtakingly gorgeous up here. Like, it's wild. Uh, but I will say, it is no joke up here. Like, bring water, uh, especially if you're from like lower elevations like I am. I'm literally from elevation zero. Um, the elevation change here will definitely get you. So just take it nice and slow. Currently a little over 6,000 feet, but when you're coming from like zero altitude, even a nice little walk like this can get your heart rate up going, so just, yeah, be careful. This is the first time I've ever tried to like record a hike. And you know, this turns like a, a one hour hike into like a two, three hour hike, bare minimum, like easy. And it's cause you have to, you know, set up the camera, make it look cinematic, walk away, walk back, pick it up, go. 
And all this to say is like, I always had like a high appreciation for like people like Craig Adams, because it is, the stuff he does is like absolutely gorgeous. But I now have like even higher appreciation because like this shit takes a while. You know, I find it kind of funny that I could have picked any hike here in Colorado, sorry, Colorado. And you know, I picked the Flatirons. And the reason why I find it funny is because I live right by the Flatiron in New York. So who knows, maybe it's telling me something. So I thought it'd be really cool to come out to the Red Rocks and do a little run here. Um, wish I had better weather, but we'll make the best of it. I really want to know what that dude's training for. That's a pretty cool day of like workout classes here too. Had no clue. Oh man, this altitude is no joke. Get my ass kicked. Today's mission, don't fall down or up the steps. Focus. Altitude, thou art a heartless bitch. Uh, yeah, no shit. Oh my god. If there's anything I knew about the people of Colorado, it's that they love their beer. And as a fan of Blue Moon, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to go to the actual Blue Moon Brewery in Denver. After that, we scooted our way over to Federales, which is another bar in the area that is very popular and also has a challenge where you can get a shot and basically a ice shot glass and throw it at a bell. So it's my last night here in Denver and one thing that I have not done yet is just stop, sit, and like reflect on everything that happened during this trip. So these thoughts are like somewhat fresh in mind and you know I can actually think through if it's somewhere that I actually want to move to. And I gotta pack up too because I gotta check out early in the morning. Um, so I figured I'd go through this, we'll talk about it, um, and yeah I guess I gotta get going because I got, I got stuff. Lots of it. Something I knew coming into this is that like people from Denver, they like to be outside a lot. And I just don't think I realized how much a lot is. Like if you have a scale of like one to 10 being like one, you're indoors all the time, 10 meaning you're outdoors all the time. I think they're probably sitting at like an eight maybe. And like New York on the other hand is sitting at maybe like a two or three. So like I, I like being outside, I like going on hikes, but it's to a point. And I think that's like a little like, pass from what like I generally want. Uh, maybe I could get somewhere in like that five, six range and that'd be like perfect for me. Overall, I really did like the people of Denver. Everyone's like super friendly. Um, like obviously I have my best friend out here. Um, so I was hanging out with her, her girlfriend a lot and then like some of their friends and then just like even the people like I met just out and about living my life. Um, I didn't really run into one person that was like really kind of rude or mean or whatever. So like a uh, nice change of pace from New York, you know, um, everything was just a little more chill and laid back. So something else I've been thinking about is like, what areas in Denver do I actually want to like live in? Like what neighborhoods? Cause there are a lot of places here and each of them have their own different vibes. Uh, like right now my Airbnb is in like Lakewood and like the golden area. And it's not bad, but it doesn't like inspire. Like it doesn't have the spark. I'm not like, yes, I love this place. Um, I did spend some time in like downtown in my, in Rhino. Like my first hotel for like for the first night was in Rhino. I spent time at the Five Point. Um, where else? Not on this trip, but I've like hung out in University Park. I've hung out in Cherry Creek. Um, I went up to Boulder for a little bit this time too. Um, I love Boulder, but I think it's a little out of my price range generally. Um, but like overall, I'm trying to think of some like really good parallels. Like parts of let's say like downtown, like Denver, feels very similar to, like Fidei in New York. Um, Rhino, Williamsburg, all the way. Um, I'm trying to think, some other parts, like, not too far, felt a little more, like, Upper West Side-ish. Um, so, those are generally the areas I guess I'm a little more interested in, that, rather than, like, this area. Um, nothing against it, it's just, like, not my vibe. So, yeah, I definitely say Denver is, like, a strong contender for somewhere I might want to move. Obviously, this is just the first stop on this journey, so not really going to say one way or another yet. 
Um, obviously, Denver has a big pull for me. One, because I do feel comfortable here. I've been here like a bunch of times. Um, and two, also, my best friend lives out here. So, you know, it'd be super nice to be closer to her and actually be able, like see her in person more often. Um, and also, my friend group would not be starting from complete scratch. Um, but yeah, I, there's like a few other cities that I'm very interested in. Um, one of them I think has a higher chance than Denver. Um, actually, I don't think I've ever brought up which cities I'm going to next. Um, the next batch, I'll say, uh, is in California. So doing San Diego, LA, and San Francisco. That should be end of July, and um, I think those videos should come out in August. Don't hold me to that, though. Um, but like I've said, like this entire th time, like it's going to take a lot for me to leave New York to say goodbye. So um, don't be surprised if this entire journey ends with me staying. Um, like I, you've been forewarned. So yeah, I think that's it for Denver and um, on to the next city.